<laughs> Yo, it's Nonstop Hip Hop 1039 Philly's Hip Hop Station. I have a very, very, very special guest in the building. Yo, first off, when I first heard her rap, it actually hurt my feelings. For real. No Where? lie. No lie. Rhapsody, what's good? What's up? Why I hurt your feelings? Because, man, on that song, so I first heard from you, I heard about you from Anderson Pac's song, Without oh, You. Without You, yeah. And then you, when, you, when you said that line, you played yourself for a photo <laughs> that you ain't know, though. I was like, oh, I gotta stop scrolling on Instagram. I'm gonna get off. Like, for real, like, I feel like, right like your, your presence in your music is that mirror that we all as a culture have to look at and look ourselves in the, in, the, in the face. I think that you speak for the conscience of black people in a lot of different cases, man. man I, just, I just talk factuals. That's all. Yeah. You know, I see life and whatever I'm thinking, I just say it. You know what I mean? That's, that's all it is. It's like my music is the couch conversation at the, Cosby, at the Cosby's house. I like you that. I like that. I, just, I give the couch conversations. Sometimes we laughing at each other. Sometimes we got to get deep on each other. You know, is that's what that's what I I think it is. Well, speaking of deep, man, the the album Eve, mm-hmm. Lord, Lord, it was so powerful. You know, and my favorite joint on there is the joint with um Jizza and D'Angelo. Ibtahaj, say that three times. Ibtahaj, Ibtahaj, Ibtahaj. I'm probably not saying it right, but I'm close. Yo, <laughs> you you know you want to know what's what's crazy? I watched the video and. I really felt like I was like in North Philly or something like that because, you know, if you've been around the city here in Philadelphia, there's a huge Muslim presence, sisters and their jobs and everything else. Like, can you speak to why you chose to do that video that way? Yeah, um, just naming the, the track after Ibtahaj Muhammad and she being a newer uh, uh, representation for us as a Muslim American fencer uh, who uh, won a medal in the Olympics. Um, I wanted to really showcase that in the video to speak mm-hmm. to what she represents and to speak for our Muslim community because we always don't showcase them in a light that the world showcases them in a negative way. You know, we got to tell the truth. Like, nah, y'all not about to, you know, put a stigma on our people and label them just based on their religion and how they dress. Like, we're going to tell the real story. We're going to tell it in the most fly, beautiful way that we can, like they are. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's what it was about, you know, just making a space for our brothers and sisters, you know, that are Muslim uh, you know, to feel like they were represented in a honest and truthful way. Now, on the album Eve, you named all of your tracks after powerful black women. Mm-hmm. Now, why why'd you choose the women that you chose? Were they just people that spoke to you personally or mm-hmm. was it just did it were people throwing out suggestions? Nah, it was all personal. Uh-huh. Every single one of them. Um it's sixteen women on the album. I did forty in total. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, I just I touched on people that really inspired me and I looked up to and that shaped me who shaped who I was and taught me lessons and you know so every single woman that I named personally had an influence on me but I knew it was bigger than me I knew that I wasn't the only one that loved Maya Angelou I wasn't right. the only one that loved uh, Nina Simone or Aaliyah you know um, or Iman so it was just a way for me to bring make it about not just me but a community mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, you a well thought out sister though. Did just was were you always this way? Did you just one day start picking up books or something? <laughs> like was you that one friend in the hallway at school? Like no, nah, let me tell you. Like so, where did it all start? I'm I'm just chill. I'm the, I'm a homie next door. Um, you know my mom and dad always took us to the library. They always exposed us, you know, to um, you know, to learn and and watch documentaries. And every Christmas we don't we watch the Roots. You know what I mean? Oh word. Yeah. Um. You know, so it was just them exposing me to so much. I think it's all about what you're exposed to and just opening your mind. Um, but I like to have fun. Like, the same way you like to kick it with your homies, I like to do the same. So I just look at myself as a well-rounded individual. I'm open-minded to any and everything. Right. And, you know, I learned a lot in college, too. You know, going to college, you meet different people. You, um, you know. Where'd you go? I went to NC State. Ah, yeah. word. So, you know, just... Be, experiencing those things like taking certain classes meeting certain professors meeting my friends who thought even way deeper than i could imagine growing up so it just really opened my mind um so me i I love people so i meet all kind of people different you know races religions from different areas and i sit and just chat with everybody yeah i'm saying sometimes we just kicking a willy bobo about nothing and right you know and other times a conversation can go 
places. I could dig that. You know, one thing about me and my travels, wherever I go, I try to experience some food from that place. That part, too. I, th- I, think, I think a big part of wherever you go and the type of people you're around, uh-huh. they food going to tell you a lot about them. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. So, Philly got that banging food. That's what I know. Oh, you already <laughs> know. So what? Now, I mean, again, though, you've been a, all over the world. Mm-hmm. What's that one place that when you sat down and ate there, you was like, I got to go back there just to eat? It had to be South Africa. What they got out there? Um, they got this uh, this thing called chakalaka. Chakalaka. Uh, it's a white rice, and it it's like a it's like a salsa, but not salsa. Like uh-huh. it's got like tomatoes, onions, like a chili, but for rice type. Okay. Thing. That joint banging. Um, they their lamb, their lamb. It's like that. Fire, yeah. What I love about food um, outside the United States. Mm-hmm. Is it tastes like it ain't got no other uh, hormones or anything get it? Like you, it tastes fresh. It you like you can savor it, you can eat it. And you don't feel like you' about to go to sleep. So South Africa is one of my favorite places that I like to go have some food. Like, I know that's right. You know, lamb and that chakalaka. Chakalaka. Yeah. Chakalaka. Pray like that. What, what, if, if there's any places in Philly, South African places, I'd like some chakalaka. <laughs> for real? Yeah, chakalaka? Yeah, for real. And lamb. So some lamb over rice wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad right now. And you know, another thing, um, it's, and I kind of lost my trade of thought on that one, but you know, you're from North Carolina, right? Mm-hmm. And you, you went to school in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So I know you know how, you got to know how to throw down. Oh, in the kitchen? Yeah. I'm all right. You all right? I mean, I used to love cooking growing up. Mm-hmm. My mom taught me how to cook everything. And when I got into music. So when the last, what's the last meal you cooked for yourself? The last meal I cooked for myself? Uh, I don't even remember, bro. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made some, um, I made some uh, pasta. Chicken parmesan. That's what I made. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, you can Chicken do a little parmesan. something. That's like my favorite dish to make. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like my go-to dish is T-bone steak. I'm a big time foodie. Like, that, oh, like okay, I, we okay. could we could spend hours talking about food okay. alone. You know what I'm saying? Now, I could kill some chicken parm now. A word. Okay. Collards. I don't know. I don't know too much. You don't. You don't really. Get I ain't in... done that yet. Like that. For real? Cabbage. Yeah, but collard. Yeah. I mean, it, it all depends. It's really the biggest part about soaking them and cleaning them for real. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You and... got to clean them joints. Don't give me no gritty collars, bro. Yeah, yeah. That ain't really it. That ain't and the way to go. I like my chop. Up, I don't like them big, oh, the leafy watery. joints, and that be all watery. Like, yeah, I don't know, nah, I don't do that. And we all know collars is like, so you kind of like you, you almost like glory greens, huh? No, I, don't eat, I don't eat collars out the can. Man, I never have either. Yeah, I don't. I mean, Where I'm even from, though we don't really do that. I mean, yeah, I mean, you <laughs> North Carolina, yeah, come on now. Nah, I can't even. I don't know. The, I don't know about no glory greens. <laughs> 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 Y'all, it's Black History Month. How are you celebrating? Man. I celebrate every day. I know? knew you. I, I knew you was gonna say that, yo. I'm, I ain't even. I mean, but I can't funny, even front. Like, like, ain't nothing different for you me. The, you the one person I believe when they say that, bro. Because yeah, like, you like, really be out here pushing it February forward. February be hitting and just be like, I'm gonna just continue doing what I've been doing every day. You know. Yeah. Do you think that we should have more than that? I mean, that's a stupid question. I'm, of course, we should have more. But how do you think the schools can do more? They can really teach and have a class dedicated to African American history, and teach. Other outside of Martin Luther King, Frederick Douglass, Rosa Parks, like, you know, really delve into uh, what our history is and all the other amazing people that are part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just try to diminish us to five people. Yeah. Like, teach people who uh, King uh, Tutankhamun Common was. You know what I'm saying? The who was that? The wealthiest man that ever walked the face of the earth is from Africa. <sighs> Tutankhamun. Common. Hey, we gonna now. Those are fun facts, right here with Rhapsody. Her name is Rhapsody. The name of her album is Eve. She's on tour tonight at the Foundry. Yes, sir. Check me out, Philly. Pull up on me tonight. It's going down. How to keep in touch with you? Yo, hit me on the website, iamrhapsody.com. There you can get to my Instagram, get to my Facebook, my Twitter. But it's all at Rhapsody. R A P S O D Y. Appreciate you, sis. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for everything you do for the culture. Love. Love. <laughs>